that it drains their own engine oil. Okay, not very many. Today, I'm going to show you all how to change your engine oil. My name is Rocky Johnson. Some of y'all may know me as the guy that's right there. <laughs> now, there are four steps in changing your engine oil. There is preparation, removal, insulation, and cleanup. First step we're going to start on is preparation, which therefore is gathering your tools. One tool you want to have is either a ratchet in the socket, or otherwise you could use an open-ended wrench. And this is a must. You may need to have an oil filter wrench. Now it's time to gather your materials. Your materials may be some clothes you don't mind getting dirty, Optional for the ladies who have nails, they don't want to get dirty or anything like that. They can wear rubber gloves. You need an oil catch or a recyclable container. A funnel to where you can pour the, in, the oil into the engine. A new oil filter, the correct oil for your engine, and a clean rag. Now the second step is removal. First thing you want to do is drain the old oil from your oil pan. When the oil pan is located under your engine block, there will be a little drain plug that you will undo. <coughs> but be careful, if you've been running around in your car or truck that whole day, you don't want to change your oil because your oil will be scalding hot. Mm. Because I've done that before and it's not fun. <laughs> <laughs> so after you remove the plug, if you don't want oil in your hands or anything, you hold the plug there, Pull real quick and you let it drain into the oil pan. Or the <laughs> drain pan. Next thing you want to do is remove your oil filter. This is where the oil wrench comes in. All you do is put the circle into the oil filter, uh, up, around the oil filter, close it tight, and just start turning it. That loosens the oil filter to where you can loosen it. The third step is insulation. Now, first thing you want to do is put your oil filter in, because if you put your oil in first, all the oil is just going to pull, pour out of the hole. So what you want to do before you put it in, get some of the old oil, wrap it around that seal so it gets nice and tight whenever you screw it in. Now, be sure whenever you tighten the oil filter, you don't use the wrench or anything, you just hand tighten it, because whenever you're driving, this expands. So um. in the threads, it'll expand. If you tighten it too tight, you won't be able to get it off. So if that happens, you will have to either shove a screwdriver into the oil filter to unscrew it. If you ruin that, that's what's going to happen. Ooh. And you're going to have a hard time getting it out with a hammer and a chisel. Ooh. The next step in insulation is pouring the oil into your valve cover, which therefore goes through your motor. What you want to do, you want to remove the oil cap, put your funnel into the valve cover hole, and then pour the correct oil into your engine, which could vary, vary from five to six quarts, depending on how big your motor is. And finally, four step cleanup. Be sure you want to clean up any messes you made, you know, grease on the ground or tools or anything like that. And then after, you want to pour your old oil into the recyclable container. You just don't, don't want to throw it down the sink or on the ground or anything. You just want to recycle it. And then after that, you want to check your oil level. So what you do is there's a little dipstick on your, on your motor. Pull it out, and then you will have lines to show whether it's full or low, which is shown there. You want to either in between or a little bit under full, then you'll have it correct, and then it won't be too low. And finally, after your oil is checked, you want to be sure to turn it on and let it run for about three to four minutes, just to let all the new oil circulate throughout the motor. So then, next time you drive, it will run smooth. And that's it. Is there any questions? Can you burn the old oil? Uh, you can use it as fuel if you want to burn the oil, but it's not good for the environment. Great. Why use it? Is there anything in the
have any questions? Thank you. Don't explode or anything. All right. That's great. Thank you. I was just going to throw it in there and then start the fire. Not like that. that was good. Okay, you all know what to do. Tally up the scores, and we're moving on to Amanda. Yeah. <laughs> 